people want, they love the classical schools, but they're not God-centered. They can't talk about God. And it's like having a wheel with the spokes and the outside and no hub, right? There's nothing holding it together. Sitting there in seminar, I just keep thinking how deeper we can go into our conversations if we could talk about God and how amazing those conversations would be. I think to be able to incorporate God into the seminar and uh, talk about Him more during class will be helpful. Imagine what will happen when they are getting Christ in the center of every class, in every subject being discussed. Like, how beautiful is that? And where you're getting daily mass, like all those graces. I like that's that's the thing I'm most excited about. <laughs> all of our curriculum is um, integrated in such a way that it all leads up to the queen of the sciences, sacred sacred doctrine, theology. This is what it means to have this this sort of timeless classical curriculum. The goal of educating children is to help them become saints and to get to heaven. What other goal is there? To help them get a job somewhere? If a child knows how to think well and act well in the world and knows where they are as a child of God in the world and know about the past and know about the great writers and the great thinkers and the great philosophers and the great saints and the great theologians, their education will have been so rich that they can go out and learn anything and become anything. I think through anything we learn at Chesterton, it'll be another, another step to helping us get to heaven. I've been raised Catholic all my life. I, I embrace the faith. I plan to be a Dominican nun when I come out of college. And with the classical education, you can get like mass, like a daily mass every day. Praying, everything like that can build upon that and help my vocation grow. I think we're gonna do like chant and stuff. I'm really excited to learn about that. And then I'm really excited to go to mass, you know, like every day. I'm really excited to be able to go to mass every morning and um, take theology, so. It definitely gives a meaning to life. There's only one, and there's only one true God. They know what they're missing and they want it, which I think is it's very ho hopeful, you know, it's exciting. It's the same education that G.K. Chesterton would have had. It's the same education that many of the saints would have had. It's a, it's classical. It goes back to the very heart of what it means to be a human being. All of the students will sing in a choir, singing four-part music to embellish and beautify the, uh, the mass. Faculty and students together singing. I think it's sort of emblematic of the, of the kind of thing um, Our Lady Walsingham is trying to do. Pursuit of Chesterton Academy is also to make them good Catholics and good uh, good young men and women who can pursue and support the faith, young men and women who are who love their faith and who are not at all shy about defending it and who go into the world and create a better place as young Catholic men and women. Fostering this joy of learning to see what there is out in this world that we don't know but we could know, you know, and that God has given that to us to discover. It's beautiful. <laughs> It's beautiful. Instead of going into this mechanistic cog in a machine, you know, I mean, what are we doing to our children? So it's really, uh, it's an astounding thing and I'm just excited to be a part of it um, and to be able to make a difference in this little way.